Hi everyone. Welcome back to Join Coder. In today's video, I'll walk you through part 2 of our Coffee POS system. We'll be focusing on the asset management feature for the admin and the sales features for the cashier and chef roles. If you haven't seen part 1 yet, where I explained the admin role features, I recommend checking that out first. As always, the free source code is available on my Telegram channel. The link is in the comments below. Feel free to download it and try it out. All right, let's get started. First, I'll show you how to set up the project if you already know how to do this, feel free to skip ahead to the demo part, I've already extracted the zip file and opened the project in VS Code, now, let's open the readme file, this project, is built using Laravel 11, and here are the basic requirements. To install the dependencies, press Ctrl plus J to open the terminal in VS Code. Type Composer install and wait for it to finish. Then, run npm install. Once that's done, you need to create a .env file in the project folder. And copy the contents from the .env.example file. We will need app key and database info. Now, let's generate the application key by running PHP Artisan Key Generate. You'll see that the app key has been generated and added to your .env file automatically. Next, set up your database information. You'll need DB database, username, and password. Let's open PHP My Admin in the browser. Make sure Apache and MySQL are running in XAMPP. I'll create a new database called POS Testing. Right now, it's empty, no tables yet. In the .env file, I'll update the database name to POS Testing, set the username to root, and leave the password empty, which is the default for Windows users. Now let's migrate and seed the database by running PHP Artisan Migrate Seed. This will create all the necessary tables and insert some initial records. For example, in the delivery fee table, you can see the seeded data. And in the users table, we already have an admin account ready to log in with. Now start the server by running PHP Artisan Serve. And also run npm run dev. For Google API credentials you need to generate your own Google API credentials and add them to the .env file. And if you not yet know how to generate you can check it out part 1 video. I already guide in there. Let's log in as admin, default password can see in .env file. We'll focus on the asset management feature. First, let's check the asset categories. These can include things like furniture, electronics, or kitchen equipment. I'll add a new category called furniture. Later, I'll edit it to electronics. When deleting, a confirmation alert will pop up for safety. 
Now let's move to the asset list. No need to enter a serial number manually, it's generated automatically. I'll add a new asset named computer. Assigned user is the one using the device, category is electronics. Add the purchase value, depreciation rate, status, whether the device is still in use, and the unit it belongs to, like cashier, finance, or HR. Don't forget to set the purchase date, warranty expiry date, and any notes if needed. You can now see the asset listed, you can also edit or delete at any time. You can check it out in Asset Report too. Alright that's all for Asset Management feature. Next, let's explore the cashier role. Before using the sales feature, make sure you've added categories, products, discounts, and taxes. After creating the cashier and chef accounts, log in as the cashier. The cashier dashboard will show some summary data. To make a sale, click Booking, and click on New Order. You will see order code here. Products are grouped by category. For example, let's choose a cake. You'll see the price, quantity, and a note section, then click Add to Cart. On the right side, you'll see item name, quantity, price, size, discount rate, and total amount. Let's add a coffee. If it has multiple sizes, we can select one and add it to the cart. I will add note, let's say no sugar. Choose the order type, eat at shop, take away, or delivery. For delivery, it will show delivery locations and fees. I will select one, you'll see the total product price, tax, and delivery charges. Then, choose the payment method, cash, card, or mobile. For cash, if the total is 16,000 and the customer pays 20,000, the system will show the change amount. If the paid amount is not enough, it will alert you. And if pay exact amount, it will not show any alert or change due. And if customer changes something or order cancel, you just click clear items. For card, just click confirm payment, it will auto complete with the exact amount, you no need to fill any card number or other info. After confirming payment, a payment slip will be auto generated. You will see cashier ID, date, payment type order code, and the amount. and the order will appear under the Orders tab, where you can see order details. To view the invoice, search by order code. The payment slip will be displayed and can be printed.
and the reports are similar for all roles. So, check it out yourself. Finally, let's look at the chef role, the chef dashboard will show incoming orders. When an order is being cooked, the status is marked as, cooking. Once the dish is ready, the chef clicks done, and the order notification will disappear. And that's it for today's video, in the next part, I'll cover the customer role, if you found this helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss upcoming content, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.